Already drug companies have latched on to this, producing antioxidant pills. Nowhere are they more popular than in California. Here, people spend millions of dollars trying to look younger and live longer. This is Donald, Debbie, and their dog, Suna. They all take antioxidant pills as part of their own plan to stay younger, longer. Oh, we don't take very many, probably not more than 70 or 80 a day each. T-butyl hydroxylamine, idepinone. Peritinol. 5-hydroxytryptophan. Sermion. Melatonin. Memandrin. Parlidel. Vimpocetine. Hydrogen. Acetylcarnitine. Depranil. Picamoline. Lucidril. PBN. Phosphatidylserine. Every year, Americans spend some $300 million on antioxidant pills. There are thousands of brands, each promising to reduce the destructive effects of oxygen. It's been a year since Donald and Debbie began their war on aging. Daily, they take a complicated mix of antioxidant pills and vitamins they believe will keep them young. I'm becoming so good at this now. <laughs> I am my own laboratory. We're trying to prevent or slow down the aging process, and we're trying to increase our, our creativity and mental functioning. Debbie is an artist. And since starting their experiment, she's noticed a big difference. Since I've started taking these, especially now that it's been a year that I've been taking these, I really do feel like my brain is getting younger. It's become just a part of the morning routine, just like uh, taking a shower or eating lunch. It's uh, part of the program. And look how pretty he is. <laughs> Third family member is also very much a longevity dog. Soon I'll leave it and we give her the same anti-aging medicines that have been proven effective in extending the lifespan of animals. Okay. Donald and Debbie are continually trying out new pills. We just got in a new shipment of smart pills. They buy them over the internet. For the three of us, we probably are spending somewhere around five or six hundred dollars a month. Donald and Debbie are convinced it's money well spent. They're certain that antioxidants increase their energy levels and make them feel younger. For Donald and Debbie, it's a lifelong experiment. 100 pills a day for the rest of their lives. In the war against aging, there are no limits to people's determination and ingenuity. On another front, military strategist Michael Young is fighting the same war. His weapons aren't antioxidant pills, but a highly restricted vegetarian diet. Michael Young is in training to live an exceptionally long and healthy life. He's not as fit or strong as the men he's swimming with, but despite outward appearances, he's convinced he will win the race for longer life. Michael is 42 years old and will be dieting for the rest of his life. He eats fewer than 1,500 calories a day. It's essentially it's an attempt to grow older more slowly, really, and to minimize the dangers from all these degenerative diseases that are going to happen by the time most people are 60 or 70, they're going to start. And I want them to start a little bit later in my life. And that's what I'm on this diet for.